Mkwaje wasi, ila kitu nye imetuleta hapa, lazima juu atu, atu yuko fine. Like, kuna venye, things are, not, things are not going on well in this country of ours. The reason as to why tunasema hivi, ni juu ya uki jana itua Jeff. Saizi hakuna mtu wa juu Jeff. Saizi Jeff, hame trend kila mahali kwa kila social media, kila mahali hakuna mtu wa juu Jeff. Jeff, ni kijana. 23 years alipigiwa simu na mtu celebrity na mnamjua nyinyi wote akamwambia kuja nikupea job the guy was full of fun zile audio clips zinatembea zina circulate alikuwa anaongea na mama yake mama yake hayuko Kenya hakukuwa Kenya by then alikuwa nga middle east akamwambia mam nimeitwa job na fulani tafadhali na sina fair ni sort na miambili, nipate nini? Nipate fear. Na akapewa fear. And then akaambia mama yake in the next audio, "Mom, I'm very smart. Acha nitakutumia picha tukipana na DJ na DJ Fatso na zile pesa zenye atanilipa nazo, nita nitapiga nita luku na brother yangu." The guy was so full of fun. So why are you guys telling us ati alikomit suicide? I mean, the math is not even adding up. Huo kijana alikuwa full of fun na alikuwa mtu wako na future yake. Why did you cut? Why did you have to cut his life? Just his life just like that. That was not. It was not right. Haya, huo kijana wamechukuana. Wameenda clubs ine. Wameenda clubs ine. Why would you take a, a client for that case? Utapeleka client clubs ine ama mtu mnafanya kazi na yeye ama unataka kumpea kazi? clubs in under what basis under what circumstances unaambia hizo pombe zote afanye nini unampeleka club ya kwanza club ya pili ya tatu na ya ine honestly na ni mwanaume kama wewe mwanaume kama wewe kwani club ya kwanza hamge kunywa mlewe hamge kunywa mtosheke huko it is because you guys mlikuwa na intentions zenye mlikuwa nazo and then mkachukua huyu kijana mkiwa na wasiana wengine watatu na maboyi wengine wawili driver yako na kazini yako mliwachukua mkawapeleka mkaenda na wao it is okay it is not wrong mkaenda na wao mpaka kwa nyumba yenu statement according to what you guys are telling us and the press conference mlita na jana it was two different things mmekuwa mkituambia nini mmekuwa mkituambia ati the so called dj aliingia kwa nyumba wakakaka kidogo akachukua madem akawatoa ak kama wamekasirikiana akawapeleka kwao and then the lady called by the name Mutanu that lady that very lady alichukua alichukua simu akapigia girlfriend ya nani ya Jeff akamuuliza aje Jeff amefika home the question was unamuuliza ama amefika home na ground gani na mlikuwa na yeye dem hakukua Aya, ukamwambia akakuuliza walikuwa na Fatso. You guys mkamwambia aje Fatso alienda studio. Na ni sawa si vibaya. Ni sawa akarudi saa tatu CCTV nasema. After alirudi akapata mwili hapo chini, akaiangalia, akajifunika na akapanda juu. It is okay. Jana kwa press conference wenye walisikia, alisema alikuwa wapi? kwa bedroom. kwa bedroom alisema alikuwa melala kwa bedroom akaamka akaenda sitting akaenda akapata wanaume wawili akawauliza kwa ni Jeff ako wapi wakamwambia Jeff atujui kwenye yako basi tokeni tukamwangalie wakatoka wakaenda ku report jamaa ana miss the question is kulikuwa saa ngapi kulikuwa saa ngapi pale chini ukiingia uliview body ya nani juu CCTV inasema vizuri sana ulikuja na ukampata hapo ukamwangalia na ukapanda juu oh, tena umetuambia ulikuwa umela ulikuwa umelala honestly we have to stand up for Jeff because it is taking too long it is taking way too long for justice in this country of ours to prevail at the end of the day mimi nikakufia kwa huyu msichana nikakufia kwa huyu msichana yeye ndo atakuwa suspect wa kwanza atachukuliwa na serikali aekwe hostage until justice ifanye nini ipatikane sasa yeye mwenyewe mwenye alikufia kwa Jeff alikufia kwake bado wanaranda randa nje haya wenye walikuwa na wao wenye wanafaa kupeana kupeana kuandikisha statement saa hizi bado wako nini wako nje honestly tunasikia saa hizi as we are talking one of the ladies are missing 
it is okay hata anaweza miss na anda nje ya country ni sawa kwa sababu serikali imewaachilia imewapea ruhusa sasa hizi tunajua sasa hizi hata nikiangukia hapa nyinyi wenye tuko na nyinyi hapa ndio mtachukua mkiwa wa kwanza ili mkaandikishe na na, na mshikwe ili mpeana statement vya kulia kulienda saa hii hapa mama ya Jeff amezika mtoto wake hospitali ili kulipelekwa at 73 hours mimi hata kuna swali yenye mimi it is not even adding up in me sijasama sana lakini honestly kuna vitu haziada hapo hawezi niambia ati kutoka hapo venye hapo kwa hiyo nyumba panya tunaenda kuweka maua hapo kwa hiyo nyumba venye Jeff alianguka kutoka hapo kwenda mpaka kwa mochari ili take 73 hours honestly mimi hata kama sijasoma honestly i mean does it even add up kwani alikuwa anaenda na rivers kutoka hapa hapa ka hapa ka hasa hapa kwenda mpaka city mochari ili take 72 hours ili mtuambie ati ati, ati postmortem haingefanywa ati haingepeana results zenye zinavaa juu 72 hours imeisha the next question kwani hiyo mochari haikuwa na attendant na ni ya serikali haikuwa na attendant na ni ya serikali wenye wanafaa kuchunguza hiyo mwili venye imekuja to make the matter worse si ni mochari ya, 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 ya mtu binafsi ni city mochari yenye inafaa kufanywa postmortem ya kila mtu akiingia kwa hiyo kwa hiyo OC hapana msitubebe ufala msitubebe ufala mwenye alikuwa hiyo OC kwanza hapo hadi mwenye alikuwa hiyo OC hiyo siku anafaa kushikwa kwa sababu anafaa anajua kazi yake kazi yake ni kufanya nini ni kufanya postmortem mbona alingoja 73 hours ishe kwa hivyo ulilipwa tuambieni ulilipwa yes elas mlilipwa it is not right at all ili saa hizi mtu akilea mtoto wake wa kijana anajua mtoto wake ako lakini si saa hii wamama wanazidi kuzaa na wanazaa vijana hata uwezi acha mtoto wako hata akiwa mlemavu hapo nje uwezi acha mtoto mwenye hezi kujikimbiza hapo nje kama wanashika mwenye ako na miguu mbili what if mwenye huyo kijana pengine by, by, by bad luck or good luck ni disabled utamfanyia maneno hapo juu hezi kimbia No this is not right we have to stand up for Jeff and that is why we are saying justice for Jeff 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 ndio kwa sababu leo ni Jeff kesho ni mimi leo ni Jeff kesho ni wewe leo ni wewe kesho ni mwingine we are we want this to come to an end justice for Jeff personally uh, tumbo za wamama to be honest stomachs za wamama wote ambao tumezaa zimejua maji kwa sababu every time you see the photo of that kijana venye alikuwa amefanywa you picture your baby on that on that floor una picture mtoto wako venye sura yake ingekuwa inakaa so as mothers tuko worried huku nje tutatoka tunaangalia chakula tutapatia watoto aje ama are we going to worry about the safety of our kids Alafu why why is it that hawa watu wako na do kila wakati na kuaga too hard to get to them? Ni nani anakuati he's an unknown person at another unknown person. Ni nani yako kwa hii Kenya over 18 hana ID? If this government really is interested kuwakat kuwashika si wange kuwashika hadi sasa hizi. Why is it in a case of seven people we are only seeing one face? Why is does he why do you people want to make him cover for the others? Hii ipo station kasarani wanaweza tuambia kwa nini wali kuchukua mwili on a private property bila ku confirm kwamba ule mwili ulitoka kwa, kwa nyumba gani why take a body kama unknown yet it is on, in a private property nyumba ambayo inahitaji security CCTV iko kunahitajika fingerprint ati mtachukua mtoto pale chini alafu the DCI ambao wanafanya investigation yote we can all see the inconsistency hata watu wajaenda shule wanaona inconsistency kwa hii story these people are lying Everybody is lying. Sasa sijui mtatuambia ni familia inadanganya ama ni hao wanadanganya ama ni media inadanganya ama ni polisi wanadanganya or is it the CCTV? This this is enough evidence. How what they have been lying they are still they are trying to cover for everything. Na wakati wanaachiliwa waendelee kukaa huku nje ndio the more wanaendelea ku cover their tracks. Kesho tutasikia mtu mwingine sijui ame commit suicide alafu ame confess to that killing. Alafu what happens? Hiyo story inafungwa hivyo. As a mother mimi ni mama na ndio nimekuja hapa kama mama I'm raising a boy tafadhali ni to know we, we cannot live in this fear sasa hizi tunasikia tu maji chwa kutumbo chwa we have not slept the whole week Jeff is not my brother but I can picture my brother in Jeff's face I cannot imagine my brother in a coffin hana kitu anusu mepasuka because of a cold blooded murder anafikiria kona pesa 
zote zenye zinaweza patikana hii Kenya. Kama uko na pesa ya kutosha basi aende alipe jefa fufuke basi. Is it that watu tu wakati wote tu kuna scandal maskini akiwa kwa makosa ndo anashikwa it is very easy to catch mtu wako poor ama ana do but sasa hizi mtu wako na do arasi do ziko na maana kwa sababu sisi mafans ndo tumemweka mali yako yes. si ni pesa iko na maana unless this guy is having support from higher powers alafu mtuambie kama justice peke yake inapatiana kwa matajiri maskini tuache kulipa ushuru i don't want to pay for taxes if my taxes cannot cover for me yes. Ah tujamani mtuachishe bana. We want these people to be arrested. Take them in and question them. That is what we are asking for. We cannot be living with murderers in our midst. Haiwezi ku happen hivyo. Let's just let's just be the last person now watu wanafanyia hii kitu. Kuna speculation it's not the first it is not the first case. And the other family pia waliamboa it is suicide. Ni vile tu hii familia ilijaribu maybe maybe our kids should not rest. Acha tufuatilie hii story. No 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 hatuwezi kuishi kwa hii nchi hivyo tafadhali if justice inapatikana kwa matajiri peke yake basi mimi mimi kama mtoto wa hasla ni amboni niache kulipa taxes because i cannot it's god's doing mungu ndiye ametaka hii story itoke cause maybe imekuwa ikifanyika most of my am time mob it's god's time yeah yeah so mtuambie if the police and the government only works for rich people sisi tuambiwe tu withdraw yako ni kutafuta pesa yako ya chakula na ya watoto hatulipi ushu i cannot pay for police officers who cannot protect me it doesn't make any sense na hii kasarani police station everybody is complaining hakuna mtu kesi hakuna siku zinafuatiliwa hakuna mtu anapataga justice hata ile kidogo tu kwa hii police station ati mtu ameenda kwa police station ame report bwana yake ana maharas bwana yake anampiga anaambua ati nenda akikudunga kisu urudi uripoti now what kind of madness is that ya yeah, ati uende ukuje na proof sasa proof ya domestic violence ni kumolewa macho this kasarani police station hapa kila mtu ana complain tafadhali kama hii serikali na serve tu matajiri basi si tuambue tu withdraw tupewe share yetu kama mahaslas tukateseke we are tired tuwapatie tuwapatie nchi yao huko wakae ya na tuna demand justice for jeff justice for jeff that is I want those people to be arrested. Hao watu waende washikwe wakwe question. That is what we want. Yes.